Yeah. Okay. What is that? Ooh, what is that new piece of equipment? Do you have a squat rack now or do you already always have that? You haven't had anything. You're, this is fasting stone. Oh, great, great. That's fasting. Vaughn, I have a different cat for you in the background. Huh? I have a different cat for you in the background. <laughs> Can you see her back there? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't get involved in Zoom, though. <laughs> I'm going to bring this camera over because, um, yeah, because I only have one audio, so it's not echoing right now. How are your legs feeling from Thursday? Uh, I'm just, just this last night late, I was starting to feel my, my hamstrings. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> but feel, they feel good. good. Uh, that's a good workout. Yeah, good. I'm glad you liked it. Yes, it's definitely slower than, uh, and more simple than Saturdays, mm -hmm. but it's easier to just focus on like the compound, get you lifting heavy. Yeah. Oh no, I feel it. <laughs> awesome. So we'll always try to give it to 10.05 to see if Amy and Jennifer hop on. Um, and then I'll do a run through of our workout today. I believe it's a it's a 40 minute workout today. So it's you know, it's, it'll be good. It might, it might go a little bit faster than 40 minutes um, because everything's, we're doing every, most of the exercises are by number. So we try to um, plan it out accordingly as best as we can. Um, so yeah, but it should be about 30 to 40 minute workout today. Um, it, it is going to be an athletic performance workout. So be prepared to work and sweat. Um, Next week, I'm going to, I might add in a new exercise because my coach is always giving me new exercises that kicked my butt yesterday. So I just like to pass on the love. <laughs> just pass on the, the pain, sweat, and tears. You're so um, kind. Thank you. Huh? You're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> also, it's good. It's good to help us develop as athletes. So, um, yeah, so today is going to be a wrestling center the workout. Um, raise your hand if you, oh, so we have Cha and Michelle on um, the, oh wait, we lost you, Vaughn. We lost your audio, coach. Oh. What were you gonna say, Michelle? Oh, we lost you as soon as you stood up, your audio went away. Oh, um, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, um, I was saying that for 
you, um, Michelle, you and Kathy, since you guys are on tile floors, uh, when you do your shots, obviously you're not gonna drop to the ground. You just want to press forward, right? Oh, I have so like a little mat here, it's okay. Yeah, but uh, you can try it if you have a little mat, but I highly still be, yeah, wear your, your knee pads if you do. But I still say, cause when you go for shots when you're wrestling, and you're actually doing your shot. You really want the wrong leg. You really want to drive through. And so, and you, you don't want to be ginger with it. You really want to practice going fast, right? And so you see like that thud will hit, especially if you don't have good ankle mobility, your, your, your foot, your knee will just, if you look in the long, the long video, I actually don't have very good ankle mobility. So when I get about here, this is about as far down as I can go. And then my knee is just gonna go down, right? As it goes down, the more you practice this motion and we'll do this as a warm up to just get our ankles loosened up, that, mo that thud won't be as heavy and as hard. But, um, when you're, regardless of when you're practicing it, especially in the beginning, your knee will bang. Um, and there's no, there's, if you're doing your shots right, there's no way to really prevent that, right? So I'd rather you just stay low, stay in your wrestling stance and press forward and work on driving off that back leg. Um, but yeah, that's, that, that is that, so. Um, I will go through the exercises today. Cool. Uh, Jennifer is hopping. And usually Amy's pretty early, so I'm going to assume that she's got something going on. Um, but we'll wait for Jennifer to get on the line before I do the workout rundown. Hey, Jennifer. So today we're going through a work wrestling uh, athletic performance workout today. Um, with you, since you're on a hardwood floor versus doing your shot where you're here and you're coming all the way down and up. I want you to just stay in your wrestling slats and push forward, okay? So I think something that we're going to focus on before we get started is doing some good ankle mobility, ankle mobility drills, some uh, warming up our hamstrings, warming up our quads and opening up our hips so we can really fall into the shot. Nice and good. So let me go through the rundown of each exercise because I want to make sure uh, you guys know how to do them. The first one is uh, going to be I'm gonna start you off a little slow. We still have our um, actual main list, like our workout list. So we're gonna do a bent over row. So if you guys have a decently weight, a decent weight on you, Sarah and Cha, you guys know how you usually do the setup with one weight in the gi top. Um, Kathy, do you have a set of heavy dumbbells you can get ready for you? Good. Yep, or a kettlebell, that works. If you have two, better, it's gonna be better. If just one, uh, if it's just one, then use your jujitsu belt around um, the loop. Jennifer, are you good on your weights? Thumbs up, Michelle, you're good on your weights? Okay, so the first one's a bent over row. Um, I won't go into that too much. The second one is going to be a single leg Romanian deadlift. So I'm gonna have you guys just keep your leg behind you for this one. So you can have one weight, one leg behind you, and then you're trying to touch your toes and then you're squeezing your butt up. Very similar to our two leg Romanian deadlift. We're just doing it with one leg behind us. And this motion is going to translate into our down block. So when we're here, we're going to fire feet, down block, fire feet, down block, fire feet, down block. So we're down blocking, down blocking, 
kicking my leg out is a similar Tweety Bird motion to that Romanian death that's still coming up with our foot. But we're going to be here and we're staying low and we want to touch touch our the ground, boom, and we're kicking our leg out, right? So usually you can kick this, you're going to kick this. Or they're trying to shoot for your lead leg. So you're going to down block and kick that lead leg out. And I want you to notice when I kick the lead leg out, I have to, I have to take a little bit of an angle. Otherwise, you're, you're not going to be able to pick that foot up, right? So you want to be here, boom, here, boom, kick it out, kick it out, kick it out. Okay, for down block. You will feel your hamstring because I just felt my booty on that one. Um, so let me see everyone in their wrestling stance for a little bit. We'll go one by one. Good job, Sarah. And then turn, turn to the side, Sarah, too. So you're facing forward. And then let me see you from the side. Yeah, you can drop your butt just a little bit more. Yep. Jennifer, you want to get lower. Go ahead, Cha. Boom. So try to stay, try not to fall on your heels. All right, so we're all gonna look in. I lost my one camera. So when we do our wrestling stance, This is kind of how you want to set up. All right, I'm going to try to be in two cameras. Boom. So two cameras here. I hear I'm going to be having my feet shoulder width distance apart. And then I'm going to step one leg back. Boom. Right, so if you imagine I'm on a box, I'm standing in a box, both feet on the sides of the box. One foot takes the front corner, the other one takes the back corner. And I wanna be on my insteps, right? So it's kind of like a weird, I don't wanna to be too much on my toes. I wanna to be on my insteps. And then I'm going to drop my butt, just like a squat, okay? So my butt goes, I'm standing tall. I don't wanna bend over. I actually wanna bend my knees and get down low to the point where there's about six inches between my chest and my leg. So if I drop, I can literally bounce my chest off of my leg, right? You want to feel that recoil, like really drop, um, Michelle, like you really want to like drop and bang and feel, feel your body like spring back up. Even let that, let that back leg go. When I say let that back leg go, I mean, you couldn't even lift up your leg. You want to kind of look like a little bit of a monkey. So maybe everybody get a little loose, turn to like a little kid. Uh, Kelly has me do this all the time. You want, you want to get loose, 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 and then boom. You want to feel that rocking motion. Like really get down, get loose. And you don't have to switch legs now. You just want to get, yeah, you're still both, uh, you're still a little shit stiff, Jennifer. Loose, loose, looser, 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 like a little kid. Yeah, for you, Chai, you, just, you need to get lower, 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 lower. Better, better, everybody's doing better. Okay, so now when you down block, you're here, you wanna stay in your wrestling stance, and then you're going to 
drop your hands to the ground and kick your legs out at the same time. Boom, 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 here. Okay, so I'm dropping my hand to the ground, boom, and kicking my leg out, dropping my hand to the ground, and kicking my leg out. Try not to like reach forward, Kathy. You wanna go straight down. Yeah, that's good, Jennifer. Try not to twist your uh, cross your legs, Sarah. You don't wanna you don't wanna twist and cross. You wanna just be down and kick your leg out. Kick your leg out. You're just moving the object out of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll give you guys a long break after this one too. You feeling ready? We're gonna do three rounds of this and then we're going to do sprawls. So for those of you who are on hardwood floors, you can just do a regular burpee. For those of us who are on mats, it's going to be a jump sprawl. All right, so you really want to, again, I'm dropping my hands, kicking my legs out, coming back to my resting stance. Okay, from another angle, dropping my hands, so my, hand, my hands are going to replace what my feet are. Dropping my hands, kicking them out, back to my resting stance. Okay, and we're going to turn that sprawl into a burpee. Heels up. You can just do a regular burpee so you're not hurting yourself. You cut out you... for a minute. What were you saying? If you're on a hardwood floor, just do a regular burpee. Oh, I think I can sprawl on my floor. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you hurting your knees or hurting your hips. Um, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna get, I'm gonna give you a long break after this one and we'll, ex, we'll explain the next block. Um, yeah, we'll explain the next block after that. Does anybody, do you guys, are you guys good? Ready to go? Let's make it happen. All right, starting in. 14 seconds. We're going to start with our bent over rows. Okay, we're going to do 12. Okay, so we're going to drop on weights. Make sure you're engaging your glutes and pull for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You can put one weight down. Switching into our single leg Romanian deadlift for 12 on one side. All right, so we put our one foot behind us and then squeeze up. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Switch sides. Over and pull. One. Try not to bend at your back. You're sticking your butt out too. Three, stretch your forward hamstring. Four, you're not bending in your back leg. Five, or any leg at all. Six, you're only hinging at your hips. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
Slow, way down. Ready, 30 seconds. Fire feet and down block. Starting in three, two, one. Fire feet, so we're like, rip. Here, down block. Down block. Down block. Imagine your football player. Down block. 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 Fast. 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 Should be a spring reaction. Down block. Down block. Down block. Circle. Down block. Down block. Down block. Down block. And right. And do that again. So it's like, imagine you're like one of those football players right here, and then you're gonna shoot it. Imagine you're punching something really hard to the ground. All right, pull for 12. Standing up, weight in the hands. And 12 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one way down. One leg RDL, right? So we're hinging at our hips. I'm gonna stand to the side so you guys can see my hips as I'm poking my butt out. I'm not bending any of my legs. I'm just hinging at my butt. And I say my butt, not my waist. Okay, so you don't want to hinge at your back, you want to hinge at your butt. Five, six, seven, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, way down. In three, two, one, down box, go. Fire feet. Down block, down block, down block, down block, down block, down block, circle, down block, circle, down block. Imagine you have somebody in front of you who's just constantly, relentlessly going after your legs. Down block, down block, down block. Punch it to the ground, fast, fast, fast. Five seconds. Two. Three. All right. So this next one, regular pulls. Now we're doing just the regular Romanian deadlift, both feet on the ground and burpees. All right, grab your weights. Pull for 12. Ready? Bend over. 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Romania deadlift. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Weight down. Burpees with the skull if you have a matted area. In three, two, one, go. Five seconds. And 
more round of that. Grab your weights. Pull for 12. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, Romanian deadlift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Get ready for burpees in three, two, one, go. Great. All right. So I'm going to break down this next workout. Oh, I guess I wasn't sharing my screen, was I? Let me go back and share it so you guys can see the timer. There you go. Okay. The next block is going to be a single leg um, jump. And I'll show you how to do these in a second. And sled push. So those of you guys who are on hardwood floors, this will be pretty cool. So you can use like your gi top or a hoodie. Or if you have something cool to push, I have these sleeping bags, <laughs> so I was sleeping in the mat, I mean, in the gym, and so, let me see, try to get feet in the camera, and so you're going to push, so this is a sled push, you're going to be down, pushing, right, push, and you wanted something that's relatively slick, so Sarah and Cha, I think the detox will work, And then for Jennifer and Kathy, you guys, yeah, a pillow will work for you, all right? And then you're going to do your shot. So I explained the shot for, um, for everybody on hardwood floors. You're not gonna drop your knees for Sarah and Charlie. I want you guys dropping your knees. So here, we're here, taking our shot back up. Right, and you want it to be continuous. You can stick to the same leg. You do not have to change legs. All right. So here, if you need to go slow, you can go slow, but it needs to be all the same pace. So you're dropping into it at the same speed that you're coming out of it. All right. The single leg jump. What does that look like? You're going to be here, down on one leg. All right. Here, jumping, up, jumping, up, jumping, up, okay? So I have one knee on the ground, the leg that is up with the leg that's jumping. This one is kind of helping you with momentum up. So you're here, jumping up, up, okay? Anybody have any questions about that? I highly suggest if you're on a hardwood floor, put it in something under your knee for those single leg jumps. All right, three rounds of this. Any questions? 
Sorry, if I may say, what sled push? The what? Sled push. Oh, sled push. Grab like something like a pillow or a hoodie. Anything that's going to slide on your top of your hardwood floor, you're just going to hear pushing. Boom. Okay. Ready to go? Give me a thumbs up in the camera when you're ready. Sarah's ready. Kathy's ready. I'm assuming Cha and uh, Sarah are ready. Michelle's ready. All right. Ready? Timer's going. Starting with our single leg jumps for 12 left and right. So we're going to be one leg up. Boom. Starting five. Three, two, one. Twelve. One leg jump left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys just keep pushing. Ready and go. One leg jump right. Sled push. You won't see me in the camera, but I'm pushing. I'll tell you when to go. seconds in three two one go shots shots all right so we're here shooting boom Three, two, one, and break. break. We're going to do 10 now, 10 single leg jumps. Three, two, one. One leg jump one, left. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five,
I'm gonna go down and back. You guys keep going. And go. All right, shots in three. One leg jump two, right, sled push. One and go. Shots. So just do, don't put your knee on the ground. Child Kathy, I want you to shoot like this, right? Make this realistic, right? So you're just penetrating. Push off that back leg. Push off that back leg. Push off that back leg. Push hard. Push hard, Michelle. It's like slow up. Three, you gotta get that. Two, that one, trigger. break. And break. Right? You practicing a slow shot is not gonna serve you. If you don't put your knee on the ground, this still translates into a blast double. All right, that's still realistic, that shot that you can apply. And then as a matter of fact, I'm gonna pause it at five seconds. In MMA, you will notice nobody puts their knee on the ground. So a blast double is a more likely shot that you're gonna use in a fight. You're not gonna put your knee on the ground on, in a street fight, okay? So you can still do a blast double. This is gonna be a, shot that you're going to use most often. The only realistic shot you're going to use for when your knee goes to ground is for some sort of wrestling or jujitsu competition. Nobody in MMA puts their knee on the ground when they do a shot. Very, very few people do. Most shots that happen, happen off the blast double. So practice it that way. Ready? In six seconds. Three, two, one. One leg jump left. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, sled push. I'm going up and back. One Bring leg sled push. Go. Shots in three, two, one, go. Shots. Yes, spring off that back leg, spring off that back leg, spring. Fast, really want to push, push hard, push hard and fast. Boom, boom. You want to be aggressive, right? Three, two, one, break. All right. This last one, if you don't feel like these have been a doozy already, this one's going to be a doozy for sure. So we're going to do... Uh, you know what, instead of the arm, one arm clean, I'm gonna have you guys do arm circles. Um, so we're gonna do sit throughs, all right? Sit through, we're here. Fire feet, sit through, right? Fire feet, sit through, hip press. <laughs> hip 
hip heights. Fire feet, circle, circle, sit through, hip heights. Okay? So that's the first, that's the first one. So that one's gonna be for time. Where it says one arm cleans, I'm just gonna count it off. We're gonna do arm circles, okay? Arm circles. And then we're gonna finish off with thrusters with our weights, with our dumbbells, all right? So a thruster with your weight looks like this. Should I need a lighter weight? Okay, so that's so thrusters. We have our weights in our hands. I'm using kettlebells, so I'm all the way out here. Squat, push up. Okay, that's how we're gonna finish it off. These aren't even the same size. All right. Okay. Starting with our sit through. Three, two, one, sit through. Hip heights. Fire feet. Fire feet. Sit through. Hip heights. Three, two, one. One arm clean left. All right, so arm circles. Standing up. Circling your arms. All right. This will be even more painful if you had your D tops in each hand. But we're just gonna circle for one minute. That's a little bit of a cool down for us. That's cool. Hands in the air, turn them into uppercuts, turn them into some hooks, turn them into uppercuts again, turn them into straights, back down into hooks, back down into uppercuts, back into straights, move your feet, move your feet, move your feet, back, arm circle. Last 10 seconds, switch directions. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch it up. 12, one thrusters. arm thruster. Ready, grab your weight, rock it. Down, push, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12, wait, down, rest. Break. So it's way too heavy. I don't know where the 10s are.
Three, two, right. one. Sit through. Sit through. The fire. Make sure you're circling. Sit through. The fire. Sit through. The fire. Sit through. Three, two, one. One arm clean left. All right. So we're going to go with our thrusters again. Here. Ready? Starting with the thruster. Grab your weight. 12. And go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we're down. Arm circles. Circle it out. Switch directions. Switch directions. Turn them into uppercuts. Turn them into straights. Turn them into hooks. Back to uppercut. Back to hook. Back to straight. Back to hook. Back to uppercut. Arm circles. Finish it out. One thruster, break. Ten seconds. Three, two. One, Fire sit through. Make sure you're circling. Sit through. Fire feet. Fire feet, 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 sit through. Fire feet. Three. Fire feet. Two. One. One arm clean left. All right. Two are thrusters. Last 12. Rack it. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Arm circles, finishing it out. Switch directions. Turn them into uppercuts. Turn them into hooks. Turn them into straights. Hooks. Uppercuts. Straights. Burn it out as fast as you can. Fast as you can for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. All right, you guys. One arm thruster. We'll finish this off with some core exercises. All right, so let me break out the list. I will skip the alligators for you. We're just gonna do our knee tucks. Our butt rocks are these. Boom, we're bringing our butt cheek off the ground, feet off the ground, and air triangles, everybody knows those. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna skip the alligator crawl. Ready? I'm gonna let everybody, if you have your water nearby, go ahead, grab a water, take a, take a quick sip. Quick sip. We're gonna do 12 knee tucks. Wait for Jennifer and Sarah to get back. Ugh, split in my eye. Okay, starting in. Slide disc knee tuck. Three, two, one. We're gonna do twelve. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, butt rock. All right. We're going to go until I get to the camera. All right. So let's keep going. Scoot my butt to you guys. I'll tell you when to stop. If you run out of room, just change directions. I'm almost there, halfway. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more, and time. All right, 30 air triangles. Ready, on your back, and go. One, two, three, four. Break. Just a little bit. Butt rock. Air break. Alright, just enough to stretch out your hips. Ready? Twelve. In three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one. Workout complete. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's drop all the way to you. So I get to you guys.
All right, time, 35 air triangles, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, And 35. Good. Little break. One last lap through, and then we're done, done. So, go ahead and stretch out some abs real quick. Ready, 12, and three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, but rock to you guys. All right, time. Last 35 air times. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. Done. We're done. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Thank you for letting me kill you guys today. Whew. Not sure. All right. Holy oh, smokes. <laughs> you said holy smokes? Yes. I was like competition training right there. <laughs> that fire feet drill that I was having you do with the sit out, that's what my coach was having me do yesterday. And he had us do it for three to four minutes straight. No breaks, no breaks. <sighs> After the first 20 seconds, my legs were like lead. And then he's like, come on, Mon, are you injured? And I'm like, no, my legs are just dead. And he was just like, you better keep going. You better move your feet. Otherwise we'll do five more sets. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I was like, just move your feet. Just move your legs. <laughs> yeah, it was a tough, aw. He likes your sweat. Oh my gosh, she's like, she's doing fire feet right now. She's like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> on your legs. It's so cute. Oh, well, thank you guys for joining me today. Oh, you geez. all did great. Uh, did anybody experience any injuries during our workout or? No. Good. I have a clean floor now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to wash my sweatshirt. <laughs> Just clean and a little sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. Great job. Great job. Well, um, so Monday, uh, I will probably still be in my home, but we're still going to do a rolling. Uh, uh, hopefully we'll still get a, like a light rolling session in, 
but I do will be going over those uh, foot lock, those uh, foot lock heel hook defenses, how to escape the bad position. Um, and I'll go over that in detail on Monday. So we'll be still spending some time drilling and going over like some technique. And I think it was, I can't remember if it was Amy or Jennifer who asked about, I think it was Amy who asked about how to escape the heel hook and it still felt like a bad position. And so I got answers for that uh, later on that night with my team on Monday. And so we're gonna be going over that on Monday in our class, how to escape the heel hook. Um, so yeah, and then we'll get in some like specific training off foot locks from there. And then the 21st, will be our rolling class. So I will have, a, like I said, whether I have Caroline or not, I will be in this gym. It's probably gonna be loud on the 21st. I will have somebody to roll with hopefully. Um, and that's gonna be a lot of us just talking about our roles, analyzing them. Um, and you guys will be able to see some things going on live, okay? So thank you so much for joining my class today. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate you sticking through the workout. What you did today, you did. It's going to make you stronger. <laughs> right? So good yes. job. Thank you. You're welcome. Take right. care. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.